Hello and thanks for uh, tuning in to another Best DTG Printer Comparison from Cold Essie. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the differences between the DTG Viper. We're going to compare that to the Brother GT3X series. Now that includes the GT341, the 361, and the 381. And you'll see how the DTG Viper stacks up to all of those. First what I'm going to do is a little bit of introduction. We're going to talk about what is DTG just in case this is your first venture into the business. We're going to compare the machines and then we're going to see what kind of conclusion we can come to. So first of all this is our second in a series. Um, the first best DT DTG printer was for printers under thirty thousand dollars and that was geared towards the uh, the M2 um, Cold SE DTG M2, uh, the Anajet, and I believe it was the Brother. Um, this one here is going to compare the 341, 361, and the 381 from Brother to just the Viper. And you're going to see why we do this. It's because the range of features on the Viper encompasses all of these for a very similar price point. Um, DTG printers, if you just stumbled upon this presentation, they're really the basis for most of the online custom t-shirt places that you'll have ever heard of. If you've ever heard of Zazzle or heard a Cafe Press commercial or U shirts or heck, just go online and type in custom t-shirt. And the folks that will print you one t-shirt with one image on it, they are using some kind of a DTG printer. So first of all, DTG stands for Direct to Garment. Um, direct to Garment means that it prints right onto a t-shirt. So uh, for example, instead of uh, a heat transfer that prints out on a piece of transfer paper that you heat press onto it, uh, basically you load a t-shirt into the printer just like you do a piece of paper into your home inkjet printer and, uh, and you print directly onto it. That is Direct to Garment. It's also referred to as digital garment printing, as just t-shirt printing. There's quite a few terms, but it all comes out the same with the printer printing directly onto some kind of a textile. So here is our big chart that you can uh, you can pause it here if you want to to get a look at the at the data involved. I do go through many of these in the next in the next few slides, but I'll just point out a few things that we're really going to focus on. We're going to focus on printing on darks because it's vitally important you be able to print on dark t-shirts. We're going to focus on the print area because the size and how many you can print are a big deal, and that goes to um, the interchangeable platens as well. Uh, we're going to touch on white ink, cartridge versus bulk, really kind of kind of all of these things. But this is the one that I want you to remember is the DTG Viper right here, it's it's just under twenty thousand dollars. And that is a full package. It includes startup supplies, uh, it includes everything that you need to get going. Um, you see these three prices here for the for the brother unit. Really it just depends on features that are turned on and off and what is included. And we're going to go through all of those. Uh, coming up right now. So the importance of printing on dark. Um, I just want to encourage you to uh, go to the mall and as you as you walk through the mall just look at the people passing by and try to figure out how many of those people have a graphic t-shirt that's based on a white shirt or have, it, have it, how many people have a graphic t-shirt that's based on a dark shirt, usually black. Uh, printing on darks is vitally important to, to make a profitable business in custom t-shirt printing. And it is for the following reason that you can, you can read up here. Uh, it's the most popular uh, color set. Um, if you can't print on dark shirts, if you just print on white shirts, you're cutting your market in more than half. Uh, you get to say no to people if they come in and say, hey, can I get 10 of these images on a dark t-shirt? Uh, if the answer is no, they're just going to walk down to, uh, to someone else's shop. So it's very important, it's vital that you print on darks. Um, why print area matters? Print area matters as you can see this huge platen down here because uh, it is the size of the image on the shirt. So for example, uh, taking that same walk through the mall, uh, most of today's shirts have a huge image on the front of the shirt or they have a small kind of a left chest logo kind of a thing. So if you cannot offer those sizes in that kind of configuration, uh, then again, you're, you're saying no. 
Um, a larger print area means you can print larger designs and it means you can make more money. It also gives you more flexibility so you can print on things like sweatshirts and towels and not have to worry really about the size of the garment. So um, bigger is better in this case. The print area on the um, on the Viper is up to 29 inches long and the print area on the uh, Brother machines are just 16. So it's a significant difference. A multi-shirt printing is also a big deal. Multi-shirt printing means just that you can load up more than one shirt or more than one garment and, and set it up to print um, at the same time. So for example, you'll see from just from the pictures of the Brother machines that basically there's one platen. You load a shirt on, you slide it in, it prints, you take it out, and you put on the next shirt. Well, it's different with the D2G Viper. This is a two adult size of platens, part of the 421 platen system. So I can put two adult t-shirts on. I can put one of the huge shirts or sweatshirts on if I want to do it this way. Or you can just kind of see underneath, you see there's four platens under there. So I can do four children's size or um, left chest logos. They don't print all at the same time, but you do hit print and they print all the shirts in one run. Um, so it saves you a lot of money and a lot of time being able to print more than one garment at a time. Uh, RIP software is a great conversation to have with your uh, director garment printer, uh, salesperson, or vendor. Uh, because RIP is a raster image processing software. It's what see, sits between Photoshop or CorelDRAW or whatever you're doing designs in and your printer itself. So um, the RIP software is going to allow you to tweak the colors because remember when you are designing something in Corel or Photoshop or Illustrator you are looking at a computer screen and you're designing for a computer screen. Uh, when you bring it into the RIP software you can really see um, what you can do to make that image pop on a t-shirt. You get a larger com color gamut, you get much more control of color, um, especially if you are printing on darks, because it's important to be able to vary your white ink underbase um, and uh, vary your resolutions to get the print that you want. It also lets you print good quality image with less ink, because you can adjust the amount of, of ink and coverage that's used uh, for the different colors. RIP software is a big deal. It's included absolutely every time with the Viper. You get RIP Pro software, which is great. With the Brother, you can buy a RIP software for, um, for extra money. Um, and honestly, there, there's nothing better than RIP Pro. So let's recap here the best DTG printers uh, compared. Uh, we talked about print on darks and described how that really uh, is a must in today's business environment. So the Brother GT341 will not print on dark shirts. I really don't think there's any reason to consider that option. Um, you're starting with the GT361 and of course the Viper does uh, print on dark. Uh, the print area on the Viper is clearly larger at 16 and a half by 29 inches which means you can get those big full shirt prints. Uh, you can print on bigger textiles and you have the multi platen options. Uh, the Viper's got better resolution. Uh, we talked about multi-shirt printing and what an advantage it was to workflow and profitability when you can set up two or more shirts at the same time to print. Um, we also talked about the uh, necessity of using white ink. Um, cartridge versus bulk ink system, I'll just say that you know with the once again with the bulk ink generally you probably have less uh, ink waste uh, the warranties on both machines are great. Uh, the RIP software we just covered, uh, and it is included with the Viper price, the interchangeable platens, the training, and the support. But here is really the um, one of the important parts of this equation is the Viper is just $19,999, so it's under $20,000. That's not just the printer. That is fully equipped. You get startup supplies. You get... Um, the, the extra platens, uh, it comes with training, you know, you're, you're set and ready to go. Uh, you could spend up to $25,000 on the Brother. Um, you could spend $20,000 with the GT341, but you wouldn't even get to, to be able to print on darks. Um, so clearly, um, the Viper is the winner of this particular comparison. The prices are the same or lower, the print area is better, the resolution is better. 
Um, it does multi-shirt prints, which is better. And the image quality, I really have to encourage you to find a way to see how beautiful the prints that the Viper does. Um, you can go to our website. There's some pictures there at www.coldse.com. Um, that'll lead you to, to DTG printer machine, and you can see the quality of the Viper prints. Um, but regardless, um, thank you very much for coming to our site, paying attention to the video, taking a look at the Brother versus the DTG Viper. Uh, if you have any questions, the number's on the screen. I'll leave it up there for a second. Uh, please feel free to call. There should be a button in the upper corner here um, that will invite you to subscribe to our YouTube videos. If you see that, please click it, and you'll get notified the next time we do another um, DTG comparison. Thanks. Have a great day.